Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my June 2019 wax empties. I do have a couple non-wax empties that I'm going to show you guys. Um, there's only just three. So the first thing that I have is the shower gel from Super Tarts in Mystique. Mystique is pink sugar shaving cream. I absolutely love, 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 love this scent. I really wish like shaving cream companies would put pink sugar <laughs> in their shaving cream because I love this combination. The only problem is these are so small. I think they're like four or five ounces. They're so small. It doesn't say how many ounces. Nope. But anyways, I shower either every day or every other day, depending on the weather, depending on if I've exercised that day, et cetera. Like in the winter, if I am not all hot and sweaty all day, or if I don't work out, then I usually shower every other day. But during the summer, I shower every day because it is hot. And on days I work out, I shower every day. So this stuff does not last very long for me. But she's no longer offering the body care. So it's really neither here nor there at this point. Um, I finally finished a fine fragrance mist from Bath and, Bath and Body Works in Tahiti Island Dreams. So I did pick up a bag of, I think it's the, I think it was the cookies from Sasagora Roma in this scent. And they are identical. This is an amazing scent, but it lasts forever. One of these eight ounce miss i think i started this in late winter i mean it's lot it's taken months for me to get through it i don't really buy much from bath and body works anymore the last time i ordered from them was in the sas last june so a year ago i didn't purchase in the winter and i didn't purchase this year i just have no desire to um i don't get as good of a deals my store is tiny it does not have as much stuff if it is you have to be there right on the first day my kids are always on school break during SAS and with my son being disabled crowds are not his favorite thing so for me to take him into a very very busy store the first day of SAS you know if you want anything you have to be there 10 a.m. when they open on the first day you also know it's going to be elbow to elbow in there and he cannot handle that so I don't put him through it if I order, I usually do online, but I haven't ordered since last June. Um, I have a bunch of stuff here to finish up, and I'm really just not interested in, honestly, buying from them. It's really expensive. My store does not usually have good coupons out. Um, they usually don't even get in the good scents in stock because it's a tiny store. There's just a lot of variables that go with it. So I am finishing up what I have because I do have quite a bit. I ordered five or six of the mists last summer and I still have most of them because it takes forever to go through one for me anyway um because I really only use it when I'm going to leave the house and during um the school break like I don't leave the house <laughs> so I used um I have cool coconut surf in my vacation bag I use that quite a bit on vacation that was so good I have the three set the body wash, the lotion, and the mist, but I'm going to save it for next year's vacation because I only used a little bit. But anyways, this was a really good scent. I love it. I'm rambling. And the last thing I finished was this. Now I'm going to actually put up a review of this, a more full-on review on this on my channel at some point and still see sand on it. So this was amazing. Um, go ahead and watch that review. I'm going to actually put the review up before I put up this video. If you are interested in knowing about this product, go ahead and tune in for that. So I'm going to start with clamshells. I don't have too many. I have more than I probably have in a while. I haven't really done these videos in a while, but people had requested a monthly empties. So I decided to start saving them again. So the first thing I finished is Tate. Tate is a really, really good blend. You definitely get that sweater weather, but that blackberry, her blackberry is probably my favorite. Um, this is one I will be picking up in a band bag when it is offered next. Ronin, this is another one I will pick up in a band bag. I love the Omen blends. The Omen is um, Red Delicious Apple, Ocean Breezes, and Vanilla Bean Noel. It's just a very nice scent. And then you get that herbal lavender. I mostly get the apple and the lavender. And I do get a hint of that Ocean Breezes, but I love, love, love this scent. So that's one I would pick up in a band bag. And then I finished Voldemort. This one I'm kicking myself for not picking it up in a band bag when it was available. Um, when she does the re, oh, the back stock, I will try to grab one. This is so good. I love cactus and sea salt and you mix it with that omen and it is just so good. It's a very strong 
excuse me, thrower. And I only melt one cube at a time in my warmers, no matter what warmer it is, because it throws wonderfully. Next is Modoc. Modoc's really good, nice and fruity. This is a really good summer blend. I have that pan of Ron and Modoc, and it is just summer. So nice. It's just, you've got orange, peach, blackberry, and then you get a little hint of the bakery from the waffle cone and the magically delicious that's in Ron with that mix. It is such a good blend, but Modoc by itself, I enjoy as well. This one I did not like. So I love her rosemary mint and I love her lemonade, but I do not like them combined. Yeah, it just put off this sour note for me. And the last clamshell is lemon berry jam from Southbound. This was really good. A nice lemon berry scent. Mm, it was super strong too. It did last a long time. I'd not been having good throws from her stuff, but I really had a very, really amazing throw from that. All right, now I'm going to get into bags. All right, so from Southbound, I did Summer Love, and this is a favorite of mine. It is just a very nice fruity scent. It just reminds me of summer. It's bright. I had a one of her like mini pies in this in 2017, and I melted it in the middle of winter when I was so fed up with winter, <laughs> and it was just a gorgeous scent. <clears throat> Copper Tone from A Crafty Barista. So I had one of these that I melted last year, and it was gorgeous. So these are from 2018. Uh, this year though, not so much. It kind of gave me like a acetone type smell. I didn't like it at all, but I loved it last year. So now I know if I buy from her again to go ahead and just grab enough to get through like that current year because her stuff doesn't seem to hold over. All right. Beach Breeze from Rambo Melts. This was really, really gorgeous. It's suntan and ocean breeze. Um, for the record, if I don't mention otherwise... Everything was at least a six hour strong throw um, before I ch either change it out or it stopped smelling. I will let you know if anything was less than that. This is really good. This just reminded me so much of the beach. Yeah, and I have another one, so I'm super glad because that's a really good scent. All right, then I have Tropical Wedding from Hayden Row. This is a nice fruity cake type scent. This I would actually melt all year long. It's just a very nice fruity cake scent. Rainbow Melts bon, uh, Beach Bonfire. This one was so good. This is right up my alley with that sea salt, Bonfire Bliss, Marshmallow. I just absolutely love that combo. Sassa Girl Roma Mango Sorbet Blender Sticks. I'm kind of sad she's not doing the blender sticks anymore, but it is what it is. But this was so good. I love Mango Sorbet. Very Good Cookie from Super Tarts. These were band bag pieces I got in a D stash. Very good. Berry Sugar Cookie. Super strong. Sweet Lemon Confection Pink Sugar Gilligan's Brew from Rose Girls. This was amazing. I need to pick up some Sweet Lemon Confection Mini Melters because I have the others to make this again, but it was so good. I love that scent so much. Strawberry Raspberry Guava and Watermelon. This is also from Rose Girls from her Smell My Box subscription. This is really good. Nice and fruity, like mouth-watering fruity. Central Perk from Vintage Chic Scents. This is a candy bar latte, kind of like a Snickers latte. Very good. You definitely got like a caramel candy note, um, candy like a caramel chocolate candy bar note along with that, um, the coffee. Beach Pine from Hayden Row. This is really good. It was a ducky. I cut it in half and it was so strong. I'm so glad I didn't melt the whole thing at once because it would have blew me out of the house. Mandarin Coconut from L3 I got nothing out of, as well as Vanilla Ice Cream Waffle Cone from Tiffany's. Watermelon Strawberry Birthday Cake from Kales from the Keeper Room. This is the very first thing I've ever melted from her. I've never even purchased from her because I was never able to get on the website fast enough. But now that she's open a lot, I may try again later. These are the little grubby cakes. They're little, the little square grubby cakes. I melted one grubby cake in my Ashen Warmer and a half in my Glade Warmer and performed beautifully. I got a good solid eight hours out of this scent and it was super strong. A little goes a long way, y'all. You do not need to throw a ton of wax. Like my clamshells, I melt one cube. One cube, um, super tarts especially. I get a good, probably close to 12 hours out of super tarts from one cube. And... That's just how my, it's always been. 
Lemon curd wild berry smoothie from Super Tarts. I did not like this. So I love lemon curd. I love wild berry smoothie. I did not like them combined. It was kind of sour. South Pacific Waters from L3. This is good. It was a sample I threw in my bathroom. Lavender Orange Dream from Super Tarts. I love this scent. Um, I kind of got out of the orange sherbet for a while, but I do enjoy that one. Candy Crush from Sasagor Aroma. This is so, so good. So I ordered, or I bought a whole lot of these stashes before I started ordering from her again. And so I'm trying to finish those up before I melt what I've ordered from her because the stuff I got in these stashes are much older. And this is from early 2018, but still so good. Um, this was a nice fruity blend. I did pick up another uh, chunk bag uh, from, from one of the recent restocks because I knew I was getting low on that. Alice in Wonderland Mini Melters from Rose, Rose Girls. I love the scent so, so much. I really need to get more into buying the Alice blends. If she ever does like, you know how she did the Mario inspired restock or pre-order. If she does like a Alice one, I'm golden. Blonde, Blonde Moment Birthday Cake or Vanilla Wafer Birthday Cake from L3. So this one I love. I had a custom doggy bag. Um early last year that I already went through. I have this single chunk that I went through and I have a custom chunk bag that I just got last month and that I'm gonna melt and try to hold over so it doesn't go. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, fruity, light bakery scent. Blue Raspberry Marshmallow from Nana Makes Sense. This is really good. I enjoyed it a lot. It was just a nice blueberry marshmallow scent. Cookie Monster in Monaco, it's um, Cookie Monster, which is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk, and then lemon curd marshmallow for Princess of Monaco. I love Princess of Monaco. Um, it is just a very good blend. I do prefer it mixed with Cookie Monster or Jackie O, but I do like it on its own. This performed very well as well. Wildberry Mousse and Strawberry Raspberry Guava from Rose Girls. This I need like a pie, half pie loaf, I don't care. This is so good. Baja Cactus Blossom from Nana Makes Sense. I love this so much. It was like a flower shape. I quartered it. It just performed so well. Sassagirl Aroma Lemon Drop Rainbow Sherbet Whipped Cream Birthday. This I got as an extra in a D stash. There's just a couple loaf pieces left. This was so, so good. It was very heavy on the rainbow sherbet, which is fine because I love it. But that birthday crept up and just made it really creamy and delicious. Sex on the Beach from Hayden Row. This is really good, nice fruity scent. And the last two bags I finished this week are fairly similar. One is Sea Creatures from Sassy Girl, which is a uh, Beach Night, Salty Sea, or Sweet Lover Cookies. Just a very beautiful scent. And the other one is Shake It All About, which is Salty Sea, or Sweet Lover Marshmallow. They're very similar, yet so different, and both so amazing. All right, next I have my bag of such a... All right, I'm gonna just shove these out of the way a little. All right, so the first one that I have is Bermuda Sands from Hayden Row. This one I really like. I have a loaf in it. I've been trying to pick up a um, scent shot along with a loaf in scents I'm not sure if I, if I like because if I try the scent shot and I hate it, then I can de-stash the loaf and it's intact and not have already cut into it. Then I did Beach Bum. I love this scent. This reminds me so much of when we were at the beach. it's it's It just reminds you of standing in the sand, looking at the water. So you've got that salt air, you've got the salt spray of like this, the ocean smell, you have the sand smell, and then somebody next to you is spraying copper tone or suntan oil or what have you. That's exactly just what it reminds me of. And it was just an amazing blend. It got me really pumped for, for going to the beach. Coconut Coast. I'm so glad I got a loaf of this. This is so, so good. It's a very nice coconut fruity scent. Then I have one beach glass. This one was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it was okay. I don't think I'd pick it up again. I'm glad I didn't get it in bulk. And I just noticed I got, I put some of that Mio in my Greek yogurt and yeah, I stained myself. And then I melted these really quickly because I wanted to get rid of them. <laughs> Beach Garden. I did not like this whatsoever. I'm not even going to speak about it. All right. And then 
I'm just throwing everything. Okay, Bahama Fizz from Vintage Road. This was really nice, a really nice um, fruity scent. This was a scoopable sample I got in my last order, Blackberry Honeydew Cotton Candy Tea. That was beautiful. I absolutely love that scent. Rocket Pop from Hayden Row. I'm not keeping these in order. I'm just grabbing, and those happen to be on top. So this is just a nice, you know, it just reminded me of that Bomb Pop Popsicle. Twilight Falls, I hated this. <laughs> so I'm not even going to talk about it. It performed well, but I hated it. Of course, the ones I hate perform, like, really good. Summer Scoop from Southbound. I liked this. Some Summer Scoop scents can be sour, and this wasn't. This was nice and, like, a sweet, fruity. Rosemary Mint Salty Sear Vanilla Bean Noel from L3. This is so good. I love her Rosemary Mint blends. I love Rosemary Mint in general. Salty Sea Air from Dessas. I love this. It was just by itself, and it just performed so well. Fresh Bread and Jam. So I got a quarter of this scent shot in a, as an extra in a de-stash I bought from Chrissy. And I'm so happy because I want to try it. Um, what I think I would do, though, is I would probably get this in one of her mini loaves, the Build-A-Bars. I would do Fresh Bread and Jam, and then I would do strawberry jam because I feel like it needs more jam to me it was a little too bready and I know I'm sure Tara's going oh my god too bready what are you talking about soda shop this was okay um it wasn't my favorite I do like super tarts cola a little bit better but it still was really nice um especially with that cupcake I love cola and bakery from Dessa's I also did carnival cotton candy this was so good but look at this like my my warmers were stained but it performed very well, smelled super strong, obviously with all those oils. <clears throat> and then I did Sweet Serenity from uh, Britta's. This is really good. I don't know the scent notes, but it was really good. It was like an herbal lavender. Then I did Purify from Rainbow Mouths. This is really good. It was really clean. You definitely got the clean air. You definitely got a soft floral. You definitely get the fruit. So it was really good. It was a little musky too, but it was amazing. Pink Watermelon Apricot from K. This was really good. I actually cut this in half and did it in my kitchen two different days, and it was still really strong. Um... Then we have Beach Bonfire from Golden Willow, and this I did not get anything out of. My poor husband, he just texted me. He's he's real behind at work, so he worked today, and I feel so bad for him. He is just like, it's like the minute we got home from vacation, like, he's afraid to go on vacation now because every time he does, he comes back to a shitstorm. We've been back not quite two weeks, and last week and this week has been hell, but today is a holiday. Today's July 4th. So he's making big bucks. He makes his regular wage for eight hours for the holiday. And then he makes his regular wage for whatever he works. He works usually six to two. It's now 1.30. Um, so anything over two o'clock is going to be time and a half plus, yeah, it's going to be time and a half. So, but he's making double time right now till two o'clock. Then it'll just go to time and a half if he works past two o'clock. Um, I had to look at last year's to see, because he worked July 4th last year, to see how they did it, and that's how they did it. So, all right. Now, uh, he just texted me. That's why it reminded me. All right, Beach Baby from Up North. I actually like this. It reminds me of Beach Bum. It's, to me, I think about the same thing. All right. And then the other Golden Willow that I had, Smoke on the Water, I got nothing from that either. Pink Copper Tone from Sugar and Spice. So, I love this, but... It was a little lighter now. That Now this is two years old. So now I know I can't hold her stuff forever. But it still was nice. Tiff's favorite lavender from Teddy Bee's. It is lavender sweet marshmallows vanilla coconut milk. This, this was super good. I love lavender and coconut milk. And performed amazingly. Her stuff performs so well for me. Then I have Sun and Sand type from Sugar and Spice. This was not my favorite. Um... I think her stuff just started to kind of fizzle off after a while. Lavender Honeydew from Teddy Bees. This was another favorite. So my uh, my waxy girlfriend told me, you have to melt some lavender honeydew. And I said, but I just got it. And she goes, I don't care. You got to melt some. And it is so good. So I cut these in half. 
Oh, so amazing. I really need like a bakery bag in that scent. It is just so good. All right. Then I have Hawaiian white ginger from uh, Nanomix Scents. This is really good. This kind of reminds me of a beachy scent as well. And then I have Bite Me. I did not like this. I don't really like that fizzy cherry. Rainbow Sherbet from That Smell Good Shop. I love this amazing scent. Tan Lines from That Smell Good Shop. Another one I absolutely love. It's kind of like a sunscreen type beachy scent. And finally, the last thing for this month is Toasty Coconut from That Smell Good Shop. And this was really good as well. So I've been cutting these in half, surprisingly. And they're 0.8 ounces, so they're not even one ounce. So if I cut it in half, that's 0.4 ounces, not even half an ounce, and they perform so well. All right, so that is everything for this video, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.